Hi, I'm Adam with We Light Up the Night, and today we're going to talk about how to repair an AV receiver. I've gone ahead and taken our equipment down out of our rack, and I've also removed several screws around the outside of the case to make the demonstration here easier. But in most cases, we'll start by removing the screws and checking around the outside of the device for any indications of a fuse holder. For this device, we don't have any fuses that are accessible on the outside. So we're going to go ahead and remove the cover here. And one of the more common parts to go wrong inside the AV receiver is at the power input right near the back in most cases where the main AC or electrical power feeds into the system. So you can see we've started without any power connected. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to now plug in the power cord into the back. And then I'm going to take out our voltmeter and I'm going to use the voltmeter to check a couple of points near the cord to see if we have any electricity coming out. So we'll start right where the cord connects to the unit. Touch these two leads here and I can see by the voltmeter that I have power present. So I'll keep moving back in the unit to the end of this board and I can see here that I do not have any power present. So the next part we'll check is the fuse. We'll remove power again and I'll use a screwdriver or some pliers to free the fuse from its holder. Set our voltmeter to continuity and we'll touch one side of the fuse to each electrical lead here. And we can tell that there, this fuse is bad because we're not hearing the continuity tone from the voltmeter. So the next step would be to go ahead and get a new fuse and then set the new fuse into place, press down, we'll reconnect our electrical power, we can test here again for voltage. And now we can see that we have electricity. We'll go ahead and put the cover back on the unit. and reconnect this to the rest of our AV components. I'm Adam with We Light Up the Night and thanks for watching how to repair your AV receiver.